and welcome to the weekend edition of Spectrum. I'm Brenton. And I'm Ruth. And we're going to have a great <laughs> time together with you today. I, you know, it's been, a, it's been a fun week. We've had some great guests. And we're going to highlight a couple of those back with you today. And I hope that you will enjoy them as we hear some of the good things that God is doing. Yes, and you know what I love? I love the pumpkin, everything, and I love balloons in the air that I saw this morning <laughs> and the change in the weather. Well, fall is in the <laughs> air, so it's that time of year. We're going to have a great time together. Let's share. We're blessed to have with us two wonderful ladies mm -hmm. who are doing a wonderful work in the area of child education, early child yes. education, Suzanne Reyes and Julie Kump. Both of these ladies work at Evangel Christian Pre-Academy. We welcome you today. Thank, Thank you for being you. with us. Thank you. It's Thank been you. a while. It's been a little while. It has been, but we're glad to have you back and glad to get an yes. update. Suzanne, you've been the director at Evangel Christian Pre-Academy for a while now. Tell us a little bit about what brought you into work with uh, preschool age students and, and tell us just about that. Absolutely. Pastor, as I was reflecting <laughs> on coming on the show today, I have been here since 2002. It does not feel wow. like 2002. I feel like it's been yeah. more like five years. You That's know, a good you thing. See, yes, you see change come and go, um, different um, political aspects, but over the years, God sees you through. I, we are blessed. Mm -hmm. I am constantly reminded that, wow, he just keeps us going, yeah. sees me through mm -hmm. every challenge that might be there, but no day is the same. And that oh. is mm -hmm. the best for me. That's the best. I love so it. It's not I the love same it. thing, although you do, you come to the same place. Right. It's something different every day. You know, I think That's of, amazing. of one of the scriptures that says to train up a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they won't depart from it. Mm -hmm. And you know, that begins at the earliest levels. Yes. And the earliest times. And so you, Ladies work with uh, preschoolers. What ages, Julie, do you work with? Well, we start out at six week old. So we go six weeks Aww. all the way up to pre-K. We do also have the opportunity of, uh, of helping the kinder through the fifth graders mm -hmm. and after school and then summer camp as well. We're running a summer camp for, for those ages this, uh, every summer. Wow. And Pastor and Ruth, summer camp is going on right now. Okay. Any families that are interested in um, a great experience for their children between the hours of 6.30 and 6, we have a great wow. program. Okay. We're reaching out with STEM activities, swimming weekly, um, guest speakers coming in to teach the kids um, thinking skills mm -hmm. that they need to be That's lifelong great. learners. Yeah. And you're always learning yourselves. Both of you are always right. learning, continuing education. Right. I was reflecting right. also, Suzanne, and I remember Ashley, our daughter, Tiny, and you were here. Yeah, you're right. You were here then. That's amazing. And how you just, I, I believe the Lord has yes. has you here. It's a gift yes. to, I really to do. work with the different ages, yes. whether it's preschoolers or elementary or whatever. But it's a blessing. And Julie, how long have you been with the pre-academy? I have been here since the summer of 2014, so five, okay. right at five years. Is that, wow, is that right? that's gone yep. by quickly too, hasn't it? Yeah. It's like half of that, right? <laughs> it does. <laughs> I have to remember the year to remember great, how long. And you guys are a great, you're a great team. You work Thank together you. well. Yeah. Do you rem well. Now, when you were thinking about the, the summer programs, is it still, is it too late to get involved? One thing that I've noticed about summer programs over the time is it seems like in June everybody, or May, everybody thinks that we can do this by ourselves or grandma can. And by mid-June, mm -hmm. people are changing their mind. Do you that find that to so be true? That is so true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely there is room. Grandmas and grandpas help out. You know, with our academy, school ends at the end of May. So we're here for June and July, beginning of August, for any families that are interested. Okay. You know, our goal is to be a support out in the community with Christian education as well as activities. Got to keep them busy. Mm -hmm. Lots of hands on activities. Mm -hmm. So, what's the best way for them to connect with you? Just to come in, or is it better to call and make an appointment with you? To, to view the facility to kind of get any information that they'd like to have? Sister Ruth, our focus is to be very personable. We can be reached by phone. Okay. You can contact us um, by calling our main line, which okay. is 883-4674, extension 114 for myself, or for Julie, 119. Okay. You can reach us by email. My email is uh, Suzanne, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E, mm -hmm. dot Reyes, 
R E Y E S mm -hmm. at E C A N M dot org. Okay, and Julie's awesome. and my no. email is uh, Julie Kump, J U L I E K U M P mm -hmm. at E C A N M dot org. Awesome. All right. That's great. So There's no dot in mine. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> no dot. You can uh, either email together. them or give them a yes. call and, and that'll be good. Give us some ideas. What are some of the the plans Options that are available that families that are have out there. At the academy. You know, we need to remember, out in the community, there are many different professions. Mm -hmm. We have um, those that work at the hospital nearby, different right. professions that people's schedules aren't just 8 to 5 anymore. Yeah. Right. They might be 6.30 in the morning, I got to get to work by 7. They might need a specialized plan. Mm -hmm. I need you for a few hours a day. I need you certain days. So we want to be an extension of that. We have daily rates. We have weekly rates. Okay. We have a monthly rate. We want to be service to families. So come talk with us. Let us know what your needs are, and we'll let you know what we can do for you That's to wonderful. partner with you. Yeah. Tell us what you're, uh, you're very passionate about what you do, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that you really put yourself into it and care about the children. What is your vision? What, what, what is your vision for the pre-academy? Either one of you can... Would you like to start, Julie, or myself? Sure, I can start. Um, so right now we are a Star 3 Focus Center. Mm -hmm. um, that's how we're licensed through the, the state of New Mexico, um, through the Focus program. It's a program that the state has implemented to improve the quality of preschool education, to make them that much more successful when they get into kindergarten and into their schooling. Mm -hmm. they, uh, we're working on get, becoming a four-star center. Okay. That involves some of our teachers all taking at least one uh, class towards the college class towards mm -hmm. their child development associates degree okay. um, and we're hoping to move forward with with more teachers taking more classes mm -hmm. um, and then but at least one for everyone so we can become a four star correct what else okay. do you think you know what I want to be the center that's personable yes. I am that's not good. my vision is not to be cookie cutter corporate you're a number let's get the numbers right. up it right. is about meeting the child's needs mm -hmm. what do they need how can we make that difference mm -hmm. in their lives as well as parents we need to partner it takes everybody working together we mm -hmm. got to meet the full child whether okay. it's spiritually emotional um, cognitive development we want mm -hmm. to partner yes. with families awesome you know over time and, and we've had the privilege of being involved in, in a preschool ministry at evangel for, since the early 70s and, and things have changed. Mm -hmm. You know, in the early 70s, not as many mm -hmm. people worked outside of the home. Moms, I mean, the, the percentage was much lower, but that's mm -hmm. increased. And I would, would wonder, do you find now that in most cases, both parents are working, um, both mm -hmm. of them have pretty heavy demands on their mm -hmm. schedule. Do you find little guys have to be dropped off early and not picked up till late? How does it work? Is everything different? I do think, Pastor, that in, in, in this um, day and age, many families have two parents working. Mm -hmm. I would think so. A lot mm -hmm. are taking care of even their grandparents. So they're needing assistance to partner in okay. to help with the burden. Mm -hmm. It's definitely um, a, a, a new era that I feel we're, we're reaching out. Definitely. Which is why we are, we are open those longer hours, 6.30 in the morning, 6 o'clock at night. And we do have some that need to come those long hours sometimes. Wow. based on mm -hmm. what their parents need to work. And you know, that's, that's a very sensitive area too because they're sometimes tired. Yep. And, mm -hmm. and it's hard on them to be in a facility or a place that's not home for so long. Mm -hmm. Sure. And, it's, and it's part of you getting to know them too. So you can kind of, right. I would yes. say, like minister, but help them in a personal way. You know, yeah. And remember, most kids that are full-time are here over eight hours. Yeah. When you think wow. of the hours that they spend in our center, we need to have this environment of loving, caring, how to meet what yes. they need, as yeah. well as to give them lifelong Because they're little skills. people. They're yes. you know, right. little people right. learning, <laughs> learning life skills. Yes. Yes. One of the things I think is a real advantage of having a, a young person in a preschool, we experience this, is that they do learn better socialization skills. Absolutely. Yes. You've got to learn it's to get along beginning. with people. You've uh -huh. got to learn to problem solve. You've got to learn to, you know, mm -hmm migrate through all the different things mm -hmm. and they're challenged <laughs> yes. too and being academically challenged is important talk to us a little bit about curriculum if you would things that you provide you know pastor it starts with infancy if you're teaching a child how to communicate as an infant they're taking those skills and learning how to climb the ladder to work on literacy mm -hmm. how to work on uh, uh, communication with reading speaking Writing. that goes all the way Oh, yeah. till our age mm -hmm. so I mean it begins at such a young age how to be creative your creativity is what's going to bring you your engineers later in life mm -hmm. your scientists I mean it starts 
at such a beginning age that this is where we, we plant and sow seeds. Well, well sometimes we think blessings. they're so tiny that they don't know, but they right. are so smart. Mm -hmm. They know. That's right. Yeah. And they know more they, than we realize. And even like yes. with the, yeah. they may not be, be as verbal, but right. you can show them signs mm -hmm. and they, they learn those and they can communicate that way or how to be patient. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing we struggle with even as adults. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, they learn that from very, very early It's on. amazing how much you can learn from them. Yeah, that's yeah. True. That's, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Sometimes yeah, that's you true. can learn. Mm -hmm. It's not a one-way street. It's, yeah. It, it no. goes both ways. Well, if you're interested in the summer programs that are being offered at Evangel Christian Academy, uh, pre-academy, or if you're in, interested in the fall, it's not too early that's to think right. of fall. Phone number again is 883-4674. Okay. My extension is 114. Okay. Julie's is 119. Or just go ahead and email them. I know there's in, that information piece is on the screen. Ladies, thank you for sharing with us today. Thank you, you Pastor and Sister Ruth. As we are continuing along, I want to mention to folks that it's really important to rescan your televisions um, as we have gone through the digital repack uh, here in our area. It's important to kind of reset your TV mm -hmm. and rescan if you are picking up television via antenna. Mm -hmm. um, we are so thankful to be able to have a lot of that behind us, but now is a good time to rescan your TV. And uh, you know, KAZQ has. Four sub channels. Yes. KZQ 32.1, which provides for us the program that you watch on a regular basis, 32.2. Which is Believer's Voice of Victory Network. That's right. 32.3, which is Sun Life Broadcasting, Jimmy Swaggart uh, Network. Their ministry. And then 32.5, mm -hmm. which is the Daystar folks, mm -hmm. uh, which do a great job out of the Dallas area. And then, of course, uh, we are also blessed to have KTVS as a part of our. Uh, programming and you can look for that on channel 36 and yes. so we'd invite you to to look for the other programming available there well as we uh, continue along remember that alpha omega broadcasting is viewer supported that means that we are on the air because of you and your help and your support and also we're here to minister to you remember mm -hmm. if you would like to send in a prayer request pick up the phone and call us at 884-8355 dial extension 101, leave a prayer request there. You can also give that way. Sure, you can connect with us online at kazq32.org. You can also connect with us on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram there as well. And also, if you have your donation, you can mail it into 4501 Montgomery Boulevard, Northeast Alpha, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Zip code is 87109 if you have any kind of correspondence prayer requests. We pray over those. We have a special place. We put those and we just look forward to continuing to um, partner with you in the future years to come. Thank you for all you do. with us today Christina Daly who is our guest from Sparrow Dance Productions and uh, we're glad to have you back it's been a little while I you were just it. launching this yes. and how how long two has years. it been it's been just about two years on June 17th it'll be two years since our grand opening Wow. wow. Yes. Well, we have a lot to talk about, so catch us up on what's going on with Sparrow Dance. Well, so much is going on. <laughs> uh, when we first opened, I think we registered eight students, and we were a oh, little wow. bit freaked out because we had a $5,000 rent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, two years out, we have 235 or so students. Wow. Wow. And then That's we amazing. have a little bit more than 60 or so dancers that are adaptive dancers, which are the differently abled and foster children. Oh, and those are all food yeah, services. Yeah. So we have quite the little nest at the Sparrow Dance I headquarters. Think so. Sounds like you do. Now, is, are most of your your activities considered to be like after school activities or weekend? I mean, I would assume. That yes. So I'm a teacher as well, and okay. so during the school year, we follow 
the pretty much the school right year. Schedule. And then in the summertime is when we offer morning and day programs. Okay. But generally, it's uh, evening, afternoon, evening. We're open about 4.15 until 9, Monday through Friday, and then 10 to 6 on Saturdays. And so you teach all oh, wow. day. Yes. And then you go and, and do, uh, teach you dance in the evening. Yes, I teach and nine. a yeah. lot of kids all day dance, uh -huh. like seventh and eighth graders, and then leave work and unlock the studio and more dance. I think that's a wonderful thing. You keep your, your children occupied and they're learning yes. at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome that you do that, not only during the day, but in the, you know, in the evening. Yes, it's, your it's, life. Uh, it's a good life. Mm -hmm. I don't have any complaints, <laughs> except my knees get a little whiny. <laughs> Oh well, goodness. the sad part is that that's probably just the beginning. <laughs> right. Gonna, oh, as, no. as we right. get older, I'm that. not sure that it's going to get better. That. But we'll hope for good things. Yeah. Right. Ahead, right. Okay. Well, when you were first here, you spoke about your hopes of growing your identity yes. um, as a conservator, conservatory and making your identity known throughout the community. How do you feel that you're doing with that? Well, our mission that? statement is really to target and help heal community trauma through dance and the performing arts. That's great. And I feel, especially with our adaptive dance programs and adaptive acting programs as well, that really speaks to our mission statement directly. And I think that's probably quite tangible for mm -hmm. the community. Uh, in other regards, though, we have a competition team. And I grew up doing ballet and modern mm -hmm. dance. I mm -hmm. never did competition. And when we decided to do competition, it was like, we're going to do this different. And, uh, you know, we pray before we go on stage. Mm -hmm. And if it's in the lobby, we stop in the lobby and we pray. Yeah. And we have it set up for our teenagers to mentor the little ones. And so those things that really speak to our identity mm -hmm. of loving your community, reaching out, healing your community, yeah are seen whether it's in an adaptive dance class or at the Kiva Convention Center mm -hmm. in a competition setting where sometimes yeah. that's qu quite crazy. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so, I believe so. You know, and when the, you know, it, it, it's important when our five-year-olds are having a meltdown for our teenagers to step in and console them. And that's a huge example. Well, who, mm -hmm. can, who consoles the teenagers when they're having That's my job. <laughs> oh, okay. That's my job. Oh, my mine, and, mine and my husband's jobs, because we have several teenage boys, too. And so he oh, okay. really kind of takes them under his wing. And, you know, I'm there to hug the girls. And he fist pumps the boys. Yeah. And so we have a really sweet culture. Well, that's you good. mentioned your husband being engaged with the, uh, the conservatory. Yes. So, uh, how do you have time for family prioritization when you guys are both working and and then you're at school and then you're at the at the dance uh, uh, area f until late in the evening? How do you how do you balance those things? I think the first year we did not do it well at all. My we hair was falling that. out. We were crying. We were eating nachos or pizza at eleven o'clock at night every <laughs> night and. Um, a year, you know, after the first year, I, I had to tell him, you know, I married you, not Sparrow. Mm -hmm. And we spent last summer dating and falling in Aww. love again. And going into this school year, it's kind of like, well, if we don't check an email at midnight, it's not going to be earth shattering. Right. So put our phones away. Mm -hmm. And on a Thursday night, we go on a date, even if it's to grill out on our barbecue. Yes. Sure. And uh, so I think, some family time. yeah, sure. fam I think, you know, how do you balance it? You determine, mm -hmm. you determine to make your family a priority. You protect yes. a family day. Ours is Sunday. Yes. And um, because that really feeds you for when those right. earth shattering dilemmas do come up right. and then you know that you have someone to hold your hand literally in the wings backstage yes, you know exactly you know and um i it's just he's i we, this wouldn't be here without him yeah god is good so yeah it's so good to bring good you together and do that you know it, it's kind of like the life of a pastor because i was mm -hmm. thinking about that as you were talking because it's well it's a 24 7 right. it's a lifestyle and you do but you do at the same time have to protect that time and right. if you have allotted yours, yours is Sunday we have a different day of the week but whatever it is you have to protect that that needs yes. to be the first thing you do because right. that is your that's the core of who you are and if right. that's not taking care of it affects everything else and I really and you know we mentioned identity I think when we really honed in on our identity as a married couple with the Lord mm -hmm. that's when things really started blossoming at the studio and we were we were stronger to say, oh, gossip is not allowed here. Mm -hmm. you, you need to leave. This yeah. isn't a good fit. Or you can't sass your teachers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bye. Let you know. Or you know. Or um, 
you know, you need to, this is where you are six days a week and you need to help us take out the trash. Right. You know, and so we Good. became, we became more assertive in our business because we grew in our identity as a couple. That's good. That's, good. That's really good. Well, so that's where, where are you going? You know, you're two years in. A lot of people have like a five-year plan. <laughs> where would you like to see Sparrow Dance uh, Productions go in the next few years? Well, we are still building programs. Um, we, in our name, it's Conservatory of the mm -hmm. Arts, and we focused on the dance for the first couple of years. And then in the last six months, we introduced an acting program. Okay. And in the summer of 2020, we're hoping wow. to bring in the singing and the music component. So really uh, focusing on conserving that one art form, building it, making it work as a machine on the business end, and you know, growing our employees, trusting them, and then yes. building the next one, and then okay. building the next one, instead so of doing all of it all at the same time, <laughs> which I have a tendency yeah. to do, so I have to chill out. So multitasking. But right, yeah. so uh, really harnessing the arts for Rio Rancho and the Albuquerque, you know, area, to build that strength mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. each art form. And you have to have a. You spoke of your team. You have to have yes. a, a team that you trust oh my and God. a great yes, team. Yes, they're support. wonderful. I have yeah. amazing employees. Very, and they're, we have, we're very communicative and they have learned how to respect us as a married couple. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes we have to call a sub and say, we're not going to go in. We need some mm -hmm. time away. Yeah. And uh, very, very kind. We do not hire dancers that are injured because okay. I don't believe in teachers, injured teachers teaching, like mm -hmm. that you need to be healthy. Mm -hmm. um, so we just went through our whole competition season. Uh, a single ankle was rolled. Everyone wow. was safe. Amazing. And in our little handbook, we teach the kids how to eat well mm -hmm. and what not to eat on the day of a show, you right. know. And <laughs> so, uh, and our faculty, our 13 teachers are 100% behind that. That's, That's great. You know, to have a small business, uh, as you do, and you have 13 employees, whether they're full-time or part-time, I don't know, right. but just managing that many people. And schedules. It, right. <laughs> right. Is, is effort, isn't it? And that, that requires uh, really making sure again that what you're doing at work is combined to what's happening at home. Now you mentioned the fact that you utilize your older students to mentor your younger ones. How is that working? Is that working well? So before we put the little ones with the big ones, we call them littles and bigs, uh -huh. <laughs> we really spoke to the bigs for months before ever bringing them together about the little ones look up to you and as soon as it's performance season you have to mind your manners, you have to do this, you have to do that, you know. Right. And they're, go they're going to need you, and mm -hmm. they're going to look up to you, and they listen to everything, and they look over your phone, at, over your shoulder at your phone, so you have to be careful on social media, right. I mean, r through and through. And then our first introduction with all of them together, we actually did a hair and makeup tutorial day for performance. Wow. And so we were teaching the parents how to do hair and makeup, and then the teenagers, it was kind of like a little assembly line. The teenagers were doing the hair and makeup on the little ones. And That's good. so, you know, yeah. we kind of, you know, there's lipstick out to here, but was that the point? No. no. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, and uh, so moms were there. One of our students said, I think it's so cool that the moms are here with their daughters learning how oh, to do makeup great. you know and, sure. and then uh we had a little group of the boys because their makeup is totally different mm -hmm. and you have to talk to them so they're not <laughs> freaked out you know and so the teenage boys were helping our one little boy and oh it's Aww. cool the rock wears makeup on movies you yeah. know and you kind of have to convince them <laughs> yeah. but that is so okay. by the time we got them together the culture had been established that's great Tell us the location, and so we're running out of time. Oh, I can tell you people so, plug in. So we're on the corner of Sunt and 528 in okay. Rio Rancho, just down the street from the Ask Academy and the Boys and Girls Club. And do you have a website? We people do, can... sparrowdancenm.com. Awesome. Well, our guest today, Christina Daly, talking to us about Sparrow Dance Productions, and I hope that you will be able to connect with them. That's something that you and your family would enjoy. Thanks for being with us. Thank today. you so much for Good having to see me. You. Yeah. Good to see you.
great interviews today. A lot of fun. Hope that you enjoyed those. Uh, I really enjoyed being able to talk to our friends. It, yeah. was, it was good. And meeting new friends. Yeah, making new connections. Well, we're getting closer to the weekend, and I, I guess we just came past our midweek service, but I don't want to miss out on talking about what is available to you every Wednesday at Evangel mm -hmm. Christian Center, where Ruth and I are the lead pastors. And we invite you to come and to share with us if you do not have a church home and to join with us. Now, certainly if you have a church home, you need to stay plugged in. But if you don't, what's available on Wednesday night, 6 o'clock? Sure, we have our women's Bible study on Wednesday night. We're kicking off a brand new one, and it will be for 10 weeks. We also have a men's Bible study. I believe it's a measure of a man. Yes. The women's Bible study is on the book of Daniel, I believe, and it's uh -huh. a Beth Moore study that we Great. will be um, kicking off. Ten-week study, I do believe I mentioned that. Wednesday seven. nights at 6 o'clock, and then our service is at 7. I was going to say that. 7 o'clock is regular Wednesday night service. We have youth ministry available. We have uh, children's ministries available on Wednesday night. So join with us. You know, one of the things that Ruth and I talk about is that our chance to meet you often comes at church. Mm -hmm. And if you don't come see us, then you may feel like you know us, but we don't get the chance of knowing you very well. Mm -hmm. So that, that would be a wonderful opportunity as we're moving forward. Stop by our website for the church at evangelchristiancenter.org. Or remember that we have easy access at the corner of Montgomery and Jefferson, either off of the Montgomery Montano exit or the Jefferson exit. Until next time, have a blessed day. We look forward to seeing you soon.